But we have Kitty Ratcliffe of Explore St. Louis with Maurice to talk about her favorite city. Absolutely. Make that president of Explore St. Louis, Kitty Ratcliffe. I don't want to make anybody jealous, but she's one of my favorite interviews. Mm -hmm. Kitty, welcome to the show. Thank you. It's nice to be here. Tell us about Explore St. Louis, why it is that you guys do such great work. Well, we have a great city, so that's that makes it easy. I have the best job in the in the planet, on the planet, and I would argue that the mayor and I should arm wrestle over who does, you know, who gets more fun out of it. I think I get more fun. Well, there's a lot going on in St. Louis. Uh, what should we be going to see right, right about this time of year? Oh, you mean besides chess? Yeah. <laughs> there you go, good answer. You mean besides the, you know, Guinness World Record largest chess piece that's right across the street? Pretty impressive. I think you should see that first. Mm -hmm. uh, it is pretty impressive, 20 feet tall, and. It's um, pretty stunning. Over 10,000 pounds. Uh, I, I just want to know what's going to happen to the third largest chess piece in the world. I think like, it's in where Rex's backyard. Where is that yeah. going? They say it's going somewhere in St. Louis, but I haven't yeah. seen it surface yet. It's, it's <laughs> I know it's also baseball season here. It started as well. You guys are big on baseball. It is. What else is happening in the city? Well, we are, uh, we are finishing up, finally, the, all of the work on the arch grounds, which has taken quite a few years to get done, but they've done it really well. And um, it's officially opening to the public to celebrate the nation's birthday, 4th of July week, um, but there'll be some preview events and some things happening right before. They're just finishing up the exhibits right now. Wow, that arch I haven't been to in a while. And I guess nobody has been to it in a little bit. $380 million project. They've Whoa. done everything from uh, reroute the roads around it to make it more accessible into the city to um, taking down old structures like an old parking garage and putting an outdoor amphitheater for more green spaces for people to enjoy concerts and things out of doors to the last and final piece, which is to completely reimagine the, uh, the museum underneath and to have something that's very modern. The original museum was, was designed in the 50s and opened in the 60s, and so um, now we're gonna have a very modern, interactive uh, museum that's open to the, uh, to the outside with light, and so it's gonna be wonderful. Uh, am I getting free tickets to this thing? <laughs> I, I, I know someone who was you, the president of something. You know, you do, and you know some other people too, so I think between us we could probably get you some tickets. Well, July 4th, <laughs> right before the Singfield Cup, St. Louis Rapid and Blitz, we'll be right. back for that, so I'm gonna take you up on that. Uh, you guys have been supporting the chess club for a long time. What's so important? Not only are you supporting the championship, uh, you're supporting all these children's initiative. Tell us why. Well, uh, we have become the U.S. Uh, capital of chess, and um, that's more than just uh, just for chess uh, aficionados. It's really all about the culture of our community and what we say to the outside world. Um, when you see, you know, when I came in here today, I saw kids out in front playing chess out on the sidewalks, and it's become a part of the uh, the, the culture for kids in schools and help them to think strategically and um, and then you have the tourist attraction of the 20 foot tall king piece across the street so it really is a part of St. Louis now and, and that makes it fun for us. Not just fun but the fact that you're putting dollars behind this or you're putting your whole support behind this. I remember coming through the the airport and seeing a giant sign for chess uh, risk coming out of the airport. Uh, that's something that says this is one of the important institutions in our community. I'm not sure a lot of airports have a big chess king and chess pieces and showing that, hey, when you come to our city, this is what we identify with. Well, absolutely. I mean, ten, ten years of championships, um, the Sinkfield Cup being added into the U.S. Chess and the U.S. Women's Chess Championships and, and all of the others that have been here, um, bringing in world-class chess players um, to St. Louis on a regular basis, and then having this kind of broadcast in this feed that's going worldwide so people can get exposed to what's going on in our, in our community. I mean, there's, there's nothing like it, and why wouldn't we be supporting that? Absolutely. Well, we cherish your enthusiasm. We appreciate your support. Keep up the great work. And uh, just save my tickets, okay? All right, you got it. <laughs> Thanks. Kitty Ratcliffe, president of Explore St. Louis, doing great work in this great city.